Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what products to make in the game. I'm also going to be showing some of my strategies and tips when it comes to making the products in the game. So we're just going to get started with our game. Uh, okay, I'm going to collect my donations. So mint ice cream. Let's do our honeycombs and peanuts quickly. I'm just going to harvest my crops and I'm going to be using the two finger method. Let's see if it works. It usually takes me a while to, yeah, there you go. The two finger method is actually working. If you guys want to know this, I can actually make a video on this, but it's not very smooth on a mobile phone rather than playing on an iPad or on a tablet. So yeah. Okay. I just got a tape and I'm also getting some XP. Ooh, another tape. That's cool. Two tapes. And we will plant. Um, so it's nighttime again. Uh, so I'm going to go with some carrots and soybeans before I actually go to bed because I usually have rows using up all these crops. So I don't want to wake up with like 50 or 60 of them. So it's better if I can just plant them now. All right, there we go. Perfect. Can I just do my boat right now? Hmm, I think I can, but I'm going to do that later. All right, now I'm going to come to the main topic of this video, the products. Uh, what are the products? Why do you make them? And what products you should always be making in the game? So products are the food items or other general items, but mostly they're the food items. Uh, but Hate has been adding other items, like we got the pottery products. Um, I think we have sweaters, loom, and sewing machines. It's really cool to have those machines that you make in the game by using your machines. And the main purpose of the products is basically to progress in the game. You can use the products in the truck orders. For example, Susan's store needs uh, three rice, fried rice and three salsa, and she's giving me a thousand XP and some coins. And yeah, basically you can see that all these are the truck orders. They need a lot of products. The same goes with your boat. You can see I need some chocolate donuts, some raspberry muffins, and some strawberry cake. And of course, this also applies to your town. So you make these products to serve your townies, to do your trucks, and do your boats. Um, you also do some derby tasks with the production one. So yeah, products really help. And you can sell them to make money. Like the best use of products, in my opinion. Now we're going to come to making the products. Now the first thing you have to remember is make sure you create a limit in the game and you keep your products according to that limit. For example, right now my limit is 10 to 15 or some products I also keep up 20. As you can see that I have some products in the amount of 20, but mostly you'll see they're like in their 10. So if I scroll down, you can see my barn has most of the items in the range of 10. So that's my compulsory limit. Every time my product is below this limit, I have to make it. It's like a compulsion. I have to make them and I have to keep 10 of each product in the game all the time. Now, this doesn't mean that when I have 10, I don't make. I still make but having 10 is a must. Now, this limit is, of course, going to be depending on your level and your barn space in the game. See, my barn is currently 6,450. So for me, being able to have about 10 to 20 products in the game is really convenient. And if your barn is small, your level is low, you can still do this limit, but it's going to be like one or two or maybe three of each products. One of the mistakes I used to make in the beginning in Haiti I never used to keep all the products in my barn. I'm not going to say this is all my fault because in the beginning, it's really hard to keep all the products just because you don't have a lot of resources to make them. You know, you need dairy products, sugars. So in the beginning, it's really hard, but still try your best to keep all the products in your barn. So that's about your barn limit, which is going to be depending on your level and your barn space in the game. Some people like to keep a hundred of each product. Some people like it to keep 10 to 20 just like me. First thing was about the limit, um, and according to that limit, you must have the stock of each product in the game if you can. And number two, you have to make products according to your boat orders every four hours if you play this game daily. So for example, my order was strawberry cake, some muffins, and chocolate donuts. If I come over here to my donut maker, you can see I already made a few of the chocolate donuts. Now, boat orders should not be a problem because when you already have like 10 to 20 of the products, even if you don't prepare for them, you can still do them. That's and that's a great benefit to people who keep like 50 to 60 of all the products. They don't even have to worry about just making them every four hours. They always have them in their stock. And of course, if you're planning to do a truck event, you have to keep a stock of 10 to 20 or 30 as much as you can of all the items in your barn. And I think the same goes for the town, although the town doesn't need a lot of products. So that's all about the basics of the products, why you should keep them in your barn, and what are the uses of the products. Now, when you have enough of the products, or let's just say they're all according to your limit, does that mean you need to stop making more products? 
In my honest opinion, I don't think so. No, you should still make them. And that's what basically I'm going to be explaining in this video, that what products you should be making, because a lot of people don't run their machines when they see that they have enough of those products. And I'm not one of those people. I always keep my machines running. I know they're not running right now. I have like nine slots, so I can make a lot of them overnight. And that's what I'm going to be talking. Now, you also make products when you're trying to fully master your machines. For example, you guys can see these three machines over here, the Funny Pot, Fudge Maker, and the Yogurt Maker. I'm trying to fully master these machines. So I'm always running these machines. I'm always making the products in them, regardless if it's easier to run or if it's difficult to run. So I, I don't really care about that because I'm currently trying to fully master them. Now, this also depends on person to person. Some people like fully mastering their machines, some don't. So I do love to fully master them. So yeah, that's why I always run them. Uh, and these are actually difficult to run, so I'll be talking about that later. Okay, as you can see that I just put a bunch of products. Now, apart from all the basics, let's say you're able to manage your trucks, you're able to manage your boats, you're able to manage your town and everything is going smoothly. You have your limit of products, like 10 or 5 or whatever you follow. Does this mean that you're going to stop making the products? Honestly, it's optional, like it's not even a compulsion. You only really have to make the products, but it's better if you still run your machines. I mean, that's the purpose of your machines. They're there for a reason. So I would honestly recommend you guys to definitely keep your machines running and keep making the products because the more products you have, the more trucks you can do, uh, you can complete a derby task faster, and you can trade these products, and that's even another perk. So I'm going to go through all the machines, and I'm going to be guiding you guys to which product is better to make. I'm sharing my secret to make the products. I don't even think it's a secret. Like, everyone knows this. So first, I'm going to talk about the major and let's just say the most important machines that you know about. It's definitely the dairy. So if this machine is extremely important. Never stop it. If you're playing regularly, you can make cream and butter when you're active and when you're going out for a long time, or you're going to sleep, then you can put cheese and the goat cheese. And for the sugars, it's also the same. Make sure you always keep them running. I put the syrup when I'm sleeping, so it's nighttime, and as you can see, then I'm going to be putting the syrup over here. Okay, so I have a lot of slots over. I think that's uh, 13 slots. Yeah, and I put a lot of um, white sugar. There you go. And I think that's the same with the sauce maker. Now, from these machines, I really do not recommend selling any products because they're important, so you don't really have to sell them. So these are, like, the most important machines in Haiti. So, yeah, the same goes with the sauce maker. I keep about 15 to 20, or at least 15 of all the products. And when I'm low, I make a lot of them. I usually put olive oil and soy sauce at nighttime because that takes longer time and it's better. When I'm active in the game, I can easily make salsa, tomato sauce, so... That's not a problem. So make sure you get the benefit of night. Um, as you can see, I'm going to put some olive oil, and I put usually two of the soy sauce. All right, now let's come to the basic machines. I'm going to come to the bakery first. I just made a lot of bread. Now, the secret that I was talking about, make the products. Number one, they're easier to make. They're not costing you a lot of dairy products. Let's say any rare item, it's not costing you those. It's easier to make. And it also sells for a good amount of coins. Like, it's kind of profitable. It's not something that just doesn't even sell. Number two, now this really depends on the time you're playing the game. For example, if you're active throughout the day, it's weekend, then you can make the products that take less time. For example, you can make the bread. But if you're going to go out for a long time, then you can make the products that take long time. Remember, they're easier to make. Whether they take long time or less time, that depends on you. So I'm going to come to the bakery over here, and I'm going to be showing you guys what products I prefer to make. First of all, I always keep about 15 to 20 of all these products. They are extremely important. As you can see, I have them in a good amount. I'm missing one banana bread, so I'm going to be putting that. And usually what I would do at nighttime, I would make a lot of cookies because they're easier to make comparatively. You just need one brown sugar, and I don't think that's really a problem. Now, also, please remember that whatever I'm going to be showing in this video is not going to be for everyone. If you're a low-level player, then things are going to be different for you. But even if you are a low-level player, like level 30, 40, then still make the products that you think are kind of easier for you to make. And if you cannot manage them, but if you feel like you're always missing the items, then it's fine. Just keep about five to six of each if you can. This is really extra. And then I would put a lot of cookies, as I was saying, and I would also make a lot of cornbread. As you can see, I have 40 of the cornbread. Now I'm going to come to the popcorn pot. From this machine, I would usually keep about 15 popcorns now, and you can see that I had 8. So I'm going to go to my honey maker. We're going to be collecting some honey, 
and I'm gonna be putting some more honey popcorns in here. There we go, I think five more is enough, and then I would put some chili popcorn or the normal popcorn. This machine is really easy to run because all you need is just corn and other vegetables, which is not hard to get, so you can always make a lot of popcorns. And then of course you can sell them and you can just help your neighbors or whatever you wanna do with them. Now I'm gonna to come to the pie oven. This machine is also really easy to make. And I think and all the pies sell really good. I have nine of the passion fruit pies. I'm gonna be putting some more, so let's put five more. And usually I just like to make a lot of mushroom pot pies, so that's what I'm gonna be putting. And you can see it's easy to make. I just need a bunch of vegetables, eggs, wheat. That's really it. No important or no rare items I'm using here. Um, no dating products. Okay, I think I'm just gonna plant more wheat because I seem to be running out of it, so. We're going to do the wheat because that's going to be a lot of machines. All right, I'm going to come to the cake oven. So we're going to put some cream cakes. And usually here, I I make a lot of pineapple cakes. I'm not sure at which level this unlocks, but as you can see, it just needs eggs, pineapples, cherries, and wheat. I'm not using any cream or any sugar. It's very easy to make. The products you should avoid if you have them according to your limit. Like, I'm not saying don't make them. For example, I have 10 honey apple cakes. Now, I'm not going to make any more because I'm using two honey, which is a lot. And usually I would save my honey for other important items. And the same goes with the lemon cake, but no, I only have five lemon cakes. That's not good. That's a disaster. Oh my gosh, I have to make a lot of these. No, I missed it. So what I would usually do here, I would make the fruit cake or the pineapple cake if I already have other cakes in a good amount. Um, and I can also make the berry cakes, but for some reason berry cakes is not my favorite and I don't make it. So yeah, don't hate me for that. Now we're going to come to the flower shop. Here I make, I prefer to make these two, but I know they're high level products. You can make the rusting bouquets, but they're not that profitable. I mean, they're not going to sell that quick. So you can also find them in the paper. So even if you don't run this machine, it's fine. But I do run it and I make a lot of these uh, soft and veggie bouquets. Let's come to the salad bar. Now this machine could be a bit challenging when you first unlock it, but with the passage of time, you unlock the products that you can easily make. Here I make a lot of summer rolls because they're very easy to make. I just use the rice noodles, which is not a problem. And I also make a lot of mushroom salads. As you can see, I have 15 and I just keep making a lot of these. I can sell them to make money. Um, yeah, and I keep about 10 of every salad. So let's do this. Now we're going to the uh, sandwich bar. Here I keep about 10 of all the toasts and then if i'm good i usually make a lot of hummus wrap this is a new product it's very easy to make i just need two bread one lettuce and one hummus which is really not a problem so we've already talked about the sauce maker smoothie can also be a good way to make money and this is also the machine that i keep running i make a lot of black sesame smoothie over here you can see just needs two goat milk which is not a problem i can also make a lot of mixed smoothies so yeah i avoid making a lot of yogurt smoothies um you know them in a good amount i also avoid making a green smoothie because that costs five lettuce which is a lot and honestly love important for the sushi maker, I keep about 10 of all the sushis, and it's hard to run because you need a lot of rice. And if I have enough rice, I usually make rice balls, or I can put big sushi roll because these are easier to make. And you also don't use soy sauce, I think. But yeah, you don't. For the candy machine, I don't sell any of these products, so if you don't run it, it's fine. But I usually make chocolate, like... I think all the other products are in a good amount. So next we have the sewing machine. So in this machine, I usually make a lot of woolly chaps, but they need a lot of cotton fabric. So make sure you have a lot of them if you want to make any of these products. Uh, pillow and blanket is hard to make unless you have a lot of feathers. So yeah, you can make any three of these products. I usually make the, the woolly chaps. They also sell good. So yeah. For the loom, I prefer making flower shawls, but I can also make any of the products. They sell really good and they're easier to make if you have wool. So during the daytime, I just make a lot of cotton fabrics uh, when I'm good on all these. So from the Barbie girl, this machine makes a lot of products. There's so much variety over here, as you can see. I usually prefer making, if I'm good on other products, a lot of winter veggies because I just need vegetables. Um, and well, currently I'm just low on all the products, but I would make a lot of winter veggies. And you can also make the roasted tomatoes, and I do make a lot of pancakes. For me, brown sugar is not a problem. I'm not sure if you guys suffer from the shortage of brown sugar, but I don't, so I make a lot of brown sugar as well. All right, now we're gonna come to the soup kitchen, my most fair machine in the game. For those who did not know, I just love soups. So here, oh my gosh, I'm so low on the broccoli soup, but yeah, usually I make a lot of broccoli soup and mushroom soup here. They're really easy to make, so they also sell for good. Now, juicer is really easy to make. You can make a lot of cherry juice or any juice that you love. I would make a lot of pineapple juices. I make a lot of passion fruit juices over here. So yeah, it really depends and it's just all the products are easy to make. It's not a problem. 
From the ice cream maker, I keep about 10 of all the ice cream, so I'm gonna put some chocolate there. If I'm good on all the items, then I would make a bunch of cherry popsicles, or I can make a lot of vanilla ice cream. That's kind of hard to make if you are a low level player, because you're going to need cream and white sugar for all the ice cream, so yeah, this is gonna be a bit hard. From the jam maker, I don't really sell any of these products, but I keep making my jams all the time. I mean, Oh my gosh, I need to make more marmalade. Let's collect some oranges. Where's my orange tree? Okay, not here. Oh, there we go. That's my orange tree. Yeah, so jam maker is pretty similar to the juicer. I don't really sell any of these that I just make when I'm low. But since jams take like six to seven hours, this machine always keeps running automatically. From the coffee kiosk, I make a lot of ice banana latte. This is like my favorite product here, and I sell them to make money. It's the only product without the use of cream or white sugar. From the hot dogs, you can make tofu dogs, but they don't really sell, so I make a lot of onion dogs. It's just me. It's gonna use a lot of onions and bacon, so make sure you have a lot of these, but I prefer making onion dogs. From the pasta, mm, I make a lot of mushroom pasta because it's really easy to make. All I'm using is some mushrooms, some pasta, and of course the goat milk, so not a problem. From here, you can make a lot of uh, flour crowns. The other ones are hard to make. From the wool kitchen, you can go with the the tofu stir fry, I make a lot of these. You can also make peanut noodles, but that's gonna use the soy sauce. I don't make a lot of spicy fish. I'm gonna keep about 10, so 10 is my limit. Remember, I'm making this video from the perspective that I already have 10, so what else I'm going to make now? And I'm gonna put some fried rice. So yeah, this I prefer the tofu stir fry. Now this machine is pretty basic. I just uh, keep eating the pasta all the time, so not a problem. From the candles, I just keep a lot of colorful candles, because I think they get used a lot, especially in the boat crates, they ask you for like three colorful candles, or maybe four sometimes. It's insane, but yeah, I don't sell any of these candles, and if I can't make them, that's fine. I don't always run this machine. From the donut maker, I would make, I would actually make crunchy donuts. It's not that hard to make, you just need cacaos and, you know, peanut. I already have a lot of peanuts, so I make that. I also used to make a lot of field donuts, but that's gonna use the raspberry jam, so yeah, I don't really recommend that. From the taco kitchen, I usually make a lot of fish taco or the normal taco because I think these two are easier to make as compared to the nachos and quesadillas because you're using cheese, so not recommended. From the tea stand, I make all the teas. Actually, I can make any of the teas, not a problem. I usually like to make milk tea. From the bath kiosk, you can make, well, it's going to be kind of hard to make, but I make a lot of lemon lotions. I know it's using the oil, but for me, olive oil is not a problem. I already have it a lot on my baby farm, so I make a lot of these, but you don't have to if you can't. I think these are the high-level machines, so yeah. So from here, the deep fryer, these two, the samosa and the falafel. These are really easy to make. They sell for good money, so you can always make them. And I think that's the same case with your preservation station. Here, I, you can make kimchi, dried fruit, or any of the products, but because they take a lot of time, so you don't really have to bother doing this. And yeah, I think that's the end of the machines. Have to remember that not all machines are easier to run. Some of them are really difficult. For example, the uh, funny pot. Now, if I was not fully mastering this machine, let's say if I already fully mastered it, and if I have 10 of all the fun used, I would not make any more because this machine is extremely hard to run. You need a lot of cream, you need cheese, potato bread, bacon, so don't even worry. You don't really have to run all the machines. There are already a plenty that you can easily run. So the machine that you think is really difficult, even depending on your farm level, just don't run it. It doesn't matter. So once I'm done mastering my fudge shop, I'm not even going to bother to make any more fudge. So yeah, that's all about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Making the products is a very individual choice and just depends on your playing style. Yeah, I just want to show you guys that how I keep the products in my barn. I keep my machines running all the time. So that was all about this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. That really motivates me to make more videos. And let me know, do you have any secrets or strategies to make the products in the game? Subscribe to the channel for more hating videos coming. Thank you so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Bye.